Today we're going to explore the new styled API in Material UI version 5. So there are two main style API or uh, APIs for styling components in Material UI uh, in their version 5 release. One is the SX prop, which I've already got a video on, and the other is this new styled API. So you can see my import up here. Uh, the the SX prop is definitely simpler. The styled API, there's actually a lot going on in the MUI docs. Uh, kind of a lot to parse through and figure out, even though it really boils down to something pretty simple. So in this video, what we're going to do is I'm going to go over which import to use, because you can actually use the styled API from a variety of imports. Uh, we'll talk about the different syntax here. If you've noticed, we've got two different uh, styled components here, and they use different syntax. One has like a CSS style of syntax, like you'd see with traditional styled components uh, library, and the other has more like a JSS syntax, so it looks like JavaScript here. We see the, the styling attributes are here within an object. So I'll discuss all of that and uh, really try to give you, cut, cut through some of the noise or potential confusion and just give you like the straight path of here's exactly what you need to get running with styled components. Here we are with a blank slate. I have uh, deleted the styled paper two. We'll recreate that and I um, kind of reset the styled paper. So we'll discuss the syntax that you see here. It looks a little bit um, intimidating at first, honestly. It did for me anyway. Uh, but first things first, we got to talk about the import. So there are the two options in Material UI 5 for using styled components, or at least for feeling like you're using styled components. One of the options is an import um, here, for example, from MUI slash system. This actually, this gives us a styled API that's actually built on top of emotion, not styled components. There is a separate import that looks almost the exact same. The object imported is the same, uh, same name, and but it's imported from um, MUI, uh, let me think about it for a moment. It's imported from MUI styled engine SC. So if you choose that, um, you're actually going to be then working with an API built on top of styled components. You do have to adjust your dependencies a little bit, and if you're using TypeScript, you have to adjust your TS config. There are there's a link in the video details that will uh, where I have a resource that steps you through some of that stuff and gives you the appropriate um, MUI documentation for that. But the interesting thing is both APIs, like I said, the object looks identical, same name. They actually have the exact same syntax as well. So this video, I'm just going to use the API built on top of Emotion. And keep in mind that the all the code that you'll see uh, for actually creating styled paper is identical. So um, you know what? While we're doing this, I'll get my blank slate set up for styled paper too. So the difference that we'll see here is um, it, the reason I'm showing these two is that I'm going to show first the kind of JSS syntax, where it's actually JavaScript syntax. We're going to pass an object of um, styling values. Before I do that, I want to mention I've got, I've got an empty object right here. In the styled API, there are options that can actually be passed in. These options do things like um, disabling some props, like you can keep, you can disable the SX prop. So. I maybe use the styled paper component across my app and I disallow the ability to further style it using the SX prop. Um, a couple of them are centered around labels um, in the, for the class name and the DOM and so on, but we will get to that in a moment. First, let's just get some really straightforward styling in here and I'll show you the component that we're gonna build. So let's set the color here to, um, let's see, we'll set it to 6B. Eight zero six eight, and um, gonna set the background color. Set that to silver. So notice that this is camel case here, background color. It's not background dash color like CSS syntax. Um, anyway, set a few more props, margin. Or to radius once again using that camel case syntax. I 
really wish that VS Code was a little less helpful here. Let's see. Let's set our display to flex. I think what I'll do is I will actually set a button in, or put a button inside of this paper component. And I'll just center it within the paper component. So justify content. Set that to center as well. So now we've got a pretty basic setup here. Uh, let me scroll down here. Yeah, with that in there. We don't even actually use this color here. We'll just, uh, um, I'll actually use a nested selector to target the button color. But let's see what this looks like so far. Okay, so I've got DevTools open. Don't worry about that yet. We'll look at that in a moment. So I've just got this paper component, which is the actual styled component. Inside of that, I set a button um, down here. So, and here we are using the styled component styled paper component that we created and um, so so far so good uh, I know from just looking at Google search queries that a common ask with styled components is background image so I'll show a quick example of using that and um, you got to get the the strings just right with it and let's see HTTPS Let's take a look at that. Let me comment out my comment out my background color. Let's see how that looks. There we go. It pulled some random image. Great. If you've never used this resource, this is called it. It's pulling from a site called Lorem Pixum. It's like Lorem Ipsum, the uh, filler text that you see all over web pages. Uh, Lorem Pixum. Someone cleverly gave you a place to pull filler images. So pretty cool there. Uh, I will remove that background image and reinstate my background color here. Um, so one more thing I want to show. Let's actually put in a nested selector. Let's say dot MUI, oops, MUI button dash root. I'll go over in a moment. I'll show you exactly where I got that from. Let's say color, let's make it red. Make sure it works and then I'll tell you how I made that nested selector. So nested selectors are, they're the same in both the SX prop and using this styled API. What we have here is I've just put in a selector and you notice the dot, that means it's a class name. Where I got it from is, um, I know we've got a button in here and buttons have, by default, they have this MUI button dash root class applied to them. So I'm actually selecting that class right here. Straightforward is that you can build as complex of selectors as you want. You know, I could put a space and target some child within that, some other MUI class, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So um, very powerful to understand how nested selectors work. So almost done with this original styled paper component. Let me go back to these options. So I mentioned what a couple of them do. Um, I'm going to use the uh, one of the examples that I mentioned where you can actually change the name in the DOM. So styled paper. And let's take a look at that first before I set one more option. So here we go. I see MUI dash paper dash root dash styled paper dash root. So that's using this name right here. Let's add slot. I'll just say wrapper. And it's actually gonna decap that, decapitalize that, but um, that's okay. So let's take a look. Now we can see that it is MUI paper dash root dash styled paper dash wrapper instead of dash root. The default slot is root. So these options are pretty cool. They might be useful, say, for debugging. Um, it takes the name, it takes the slot that you've that you've passed in, and it just creates uh, the CSS name dynamically and according to those values that you've passed in. So I mentioned there's some other props, or excuse me, some other options. And um, I'm not gonna get into them right now, but you can check them out. Once again, I'll have documentation that is linked to in the video details. <clears throat> before we wrap up, we're almost done here, but before we wrap up, I want to show you the same thing using uh, the alternative syntax. I'll go ahead and put these options down here in this one as well. And let's see, I need to get my, my uh, formatter set better. So. Here we are. Um, I started out with the object syntax 
in the previous one, in the previous in Stout Paper, but in Stout Paper 2, I'm going to use a syntax that might feel more familiar to anyone who is used to Stout components. Um, so here, we can see from my commented out code down here that I've just got text, I don't have a button in there. So let's set the color of that to, uh, let's say, we'll just go with red again. And I will set a height and a width. Notice that I have semicolons, I have px values instead of letting them just be assumed up here. Um, I don't have strings in the same way, like this is not wrapped in, in uh, that's not a string. So let's go ahead and I'll do that background image. Syntax, uh, once again, you have to be careful with your strings here, but um, I'm not gonna type all that out again. I'll just steal it from right here. But notice down here, I do not have the tick marks around URL. So um, that should be good enough right there. So let's comment out our style paper. Uncomment style paper two, see how this looks. And notice I have background dash image. We're using CSS syntax here. So what probably a lot of developers watching this may have uh, started out their career using or started out their learning using um, just the difference in background dash image versus background image camel case. We're in JavaScript world up here because it's an object. We're in, I guess, CSS world down here with stealth components, uh, traditional syntax. So here we are. Um, notice it's got the red text. It's not a button anymore. And it had that image. There it goes. Lorem Pixum is just pulling random images. So here we go. We've got another one. So that's really all. Um, that's a quick path to being able to use styled components, or maybe you should say a quick path to feeling like you're using styled components if you just take the traditional, or the uh, recommended, I should say, approach of using the styled API on top of Emotion. And with that said, um, please consider subscribing. I hope that this was a very helpful video for you.